Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Voice Acting 101. Now, I know this one has been long overdue, and two reasons. One, I've just been extremely busy with a lot of business and personal matters, so I haven't had a chance to do it. And the other reason is, this is such a touchy subject that it was really hard for me to convey into words about how to go about this entire subject. And that subject is handling criticism. And now the irony of the whole thing is I was trying to find the right way to talk about handling criticism where honestly, the results are different for everybody. So this is more so about the kind of criticism that you'll see. And I will tell you about the pieces of criticism you should think about and you definitely shouldn't think about. So here we go. A lot of times on the internet, you will see a lot of people who quote unquote, give out criticism when honestly it's baseless. There's nothing there. There's nothing to grow from it. And it's actually on both sides of the positive and negative spectrum of things. You can have the criticism that's just overly positive. They just shower with nice, nice words. There's praising and there's everything like that, but it doesn't feel like there's any growth you can get from it. They're just throwing words at you to make you feel good about yourself. But in the industry of art, you want to grow. You want it to do better things. So why would overpraise make you feel like you should grow? Because at that point, you feel like, all right, I've done the best I could do. I'm going to submit all my work everywhere and make millions of dollars. <laughs> the joke is here that voice actors don't make millions of dollars. And then on the opposite side of things, you have the overly negative criticisms, which I don't even think at that point they count as criticism. They just count as baseless insults that really have nothing to do with how you should grow as an individual. In fact, they kind of pull you back and they make you feel really gross about yourself. Like, well, I, I guess I suck. Why would I continue? I guess I'll just quit right now, sell all my equipment and forget about everything I wanted to do. Those are the two ones that I would say, don't think about when you get those pieces of criticism. The ones you really should think about that you get are this lovely little middle ground that I will say in their most simplest form is, that was good, but you can do better. I like to think that a lot of us actors are kind of like weapons at a forge. There's a lot of potential there. We start looking really good in the middle of it, but it takes that true tempering and honing and sharpening of what we can do that makes us great. So when you get a critic that will tell you about all the good things that you've done, will tell you all the things that you should improve on, they might even go above and beyond and say what you can do to make the good things even greater. And that's really all an actor should focus on is not about whether they think that they suck or that they think that they're truly at the top of their game. It's about thinking about what they should do to truly grow further and further than ever before. Because I think even as people, we don't ever stop growing. We never stop learning. We never stop taking in the world around us. I feel like the moment where we cut those parts out of our lives and we don't want to learn, we don't want to grow, we don't want to hear what people have to say, a big part of life is just gone. I take this matter personally into heart because it's not about how you should feel when you receive truly dumbfounding negative insults or high praise. It's about looking inside of yourself and thinking, I know I can do this, but I want to get better at this. And sometimes when you get those criticisms like that, you'll find the answer within yourself too. And I think it's really important to listen to those critics like that. I wouldn't worry about the people who try to bring you down or worry about the people that want to throw about five pounds of sugar at your face. Because I think when you put yourself out there, people are going to listen. And you'll find those people who will say that about you. And when they go out of their way to tell you, that's the most valuable. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support on these videos. I'm so sorry this last one took so long to get out there, but life happens. And <laughs> at this point in my life, as much as I would love to teach you guys more, there's some things I feel like I need to get better at to teach. So before I can continue an advanced series, I want to grow myself a little bit too. So with that said, thank you guys so much. 
and I will see you on one of my next few videos. Take care.